It's time for the sandbox news. VR and sandbox has been fixed. Virtual reality used to be completely broken in sandbox, or at least the rendering. Objects would pop in all the time. For example, uh, I don't have hands, but that signpost there would disappear right about now. There are still a few weird bugs like the water. I'm not sure how well you can see this in the video, but the water is totally broken. Oh, wow. I'm starting to get sick just looking at this. It's really bad. But from my understanding, almost all of the other bugs have been fixed. I think the only major things are water being broken, and I don't think you can do post-processing or have a separate camera for the desktop view. I think the desktop view is forced to be the VR headset view currently, but I'm sure there's issues along with any others that will get resolved in the future. We're not going to look at all the VR games right now, but here are a couple. This one is Climbing by Shadow Brain, although it doesn't, it doesn't seem to work. So maybe this hasn't been updated. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's still a work in progress. The menu is working now in VR. This is just a temporary placeholder menu. It's static, it's always in the same position, and you can't move it around at all. However, in the future, this will likely get changed into something similar to a home world, although we'll see about that. I'm trying to load into a couple of other of these VR games, but a lot of them just aren't working. I'm pretty sure Disc Golf is a good one that actually works. Oh, I don't have a keyboard or anything in VR. Ah, here's Disc Golf VR, and oh, that's kind of weird. The Far Z clip plane is really low. This is my 80km Badlands map, but you can't really see it because the world disappears at a certain point. That's not a sandbox bug, that's just a limitation with the game. I'm sure that could be updated easily. This game didn't really work before because the disc would disappear right after you threw it, so you would have no idea where it went. And you wouldn't be able to see the chain hole things either. They would just disappear because of the rendering. This is really cool that this works now, and I'm really excited to see what people make in sandbox VR in the future. That's crazy. There's also a few new clothing items. These are all reskins of existing items. There are new variations of the different hats. So these are just recolorings. Same with the shirts. Here's the old blue, I don't know what this shirt is called but there's a new version of it. There's also a new blue version of this shirt. I think this shirt is new. This shirt is so dirty. Ew. I think this one might be new. There are some new vest variations. There's this gray one and this other patterned one. And there are also a couple new colors for the jacket. That's really crazy. Local packages are now separate. What that means is all of your add-ons, so games, maps, content, and add-ons, they're now separate from the published version. For example, if I was developing NPC Zombie Horde and I wanted to just play a regular game of it, I would have to actually go in and disable the add-on before actually playing a multiplayer game. But now if I was to click create game, it would play the actual uploaded version of NPC Zombie Horde instead of my local developer version. There have also been some updates to the menu here. So it looks like we can sort by tags now. We can sort by Halloween or horror. Looks like there are two different tags for VR. This is still a early work in progress, unlike this video.